ਗੁਰੂ ਦੀ ਸਾਜੀ ਨਵਾਜੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅਟ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡਿਲਾਈਟਡ ਟੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਸੈਨੇਟਰ ਐਲਡ੍ਰਿਜ ਸੈਨੇਟਰ ਰਾਉਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਲੈਟਨੈਂਟ ਕਵਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਰੈਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਗਵਰਨਰ ਬੇਕਰ ਆਈ ਸ਼ਾਲ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਸਕ ਕਿਰਨ ਕੌਰ to please come up to the stage and say a few words in welcome vaigur ji ka khalsa vaigur ji ki fateh i begin with the sikh greeting vaigur ji ka khalsa vaigur ji ki fateh we are pleased to welcome state senator james eldridge representing the middlesex and worcester district and senate state senator rebecca rausch representing the norfolk bristol and middlesex district Senator Eldridge serves as the Senate Chair of the Joint Committee on the Judiciary and the Senate Vice Chair on the Joint Committee on the Environment, Natural Resources and the Agriculture and the Senate Committee on Post Audit Oversight and Oversight. Senator Eldridge is also the Senate Chair of the Clean Energy, Criminal Justice Reform, Medicare for All Caucuses and the co-chair of the MBTA Caucus. Senator Rausch is the state Senate chairperson of the Joint Committee on the Environment, Natural Resources and Agriculture, Senate Vice Chair of the Joint Committee on State Administration and Regulatory Oversight, and a member of the Joint Committees on Children, Families and Persons with Disabilities, Public Health, Public Safety, Revenue and Community Community Development and Small Businesses. Senator Rausch and Senator Eldridge the six are a unique community and we have called Massachusetts our home for several decades we are the adherents of the fifth largest world religion Sikhism which gave equal rights to men and women in the 15th century Guru Nanak Sikhism's founder created an egalitarian society one that saw social justice and human rights as its most prized values because of our willingness to fight oppression in all of its forms the sikh community has been persecuted throughout the history of our homeland not surprisingly many sikhs have chosen to make america their home because of this great nation's promise of liberty and justice today Six in their pursuit of the American dream are making great contribution in all walks of life both throughout the commonwealth and the broader United States. Six have opened, also opened up their gurdwaras both as shelters and food distribution sellers, centers to our fellow Americans during times of crisis. You can count on us whenever there is need. Like all communities, six too have their challenges. As a conspicuous minority, the six have seen a sharp increase in hate crimes over the past few years. In one survey, it was found that 67% of sick children have experienced bullying and harassment. And 13% of sick kids face bullying every day. In the not so recent past, Our places of worship have been targeted by white supremacists. <coughs> we are very optimistic about our future because we are using education as a tool to fight this kind of bigotry. It is our hope that you will join forces with us to bring Sikh literacy to the students and residents of this state. We want to thank you for the role that you have played in on Beacon Hill in recognizing April as Sikh Awareness and Appreciation Month and we wish you the very best in the future. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa Vaheguru ji ki fateh. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa Vaheguru ji ki fateh. Sangat di jankari vaste main dasna chahna ha ke pehli baar Massachusetts de vich Sikh panth nu is tarike de naal bade suchajje dhang de naal ਰੈਕਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਮੈਸੇਚੂਸੈਟਸ ਦੇ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਚਰ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਰੈਜ਼ੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਪ੍ਰੈਲ ਦਾ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਮੰਥ ਕਰਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਨਾਲ 
ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਦੇ ਦਿਵਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਵਰਲਡ ਯੂਨਿਟੀ ਡੇ ਕਰਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਦਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਡਿਲਾਈਟਡ ਟੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਸੈਨੇਟਰ ਐਲਡਰਿਜ ਸੈਨੇਟਰ ਰਾਉਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਲੂਟੈਨੈਂਟ ਕਵਰ ਸਿੰਘ who is uh, representing governor baker and i will now invite uh, both senators to uh, briefly speak after which a delegation of sangat members will come and receive the citations and the declarations please thank you so much good afternoon this is a real pleasure and privilege to be here with all of you um particularly as a person of faith myself uh, a faith that has been targeted in many of the same ways as yours um please know that we stand with you uh it is also a distinct pleasure and privilege to share this resolution from the Massachusetts General Court um alongside my good friend and colleague state senator Aldridge um and uh so we we're going to alternate paragraph by paragraph here and apologies for the height discrepancy <laughs> <laughs> The Massachusetts General Court official resolution commending the Sikh community in the Commonwealth for their recognition of April 2022 as Sikh Awareness and Appreciation Month. Whereas Sikh communities in the Commonwealth are recognizing April 2022 as Sikh Awareness and Appreciation Month and whereas Sikhs have been living in the United States for more than 120 years with thousands of them working on farms in lumber mills and mines in the Western Pacific Railroad lines during the early 20th century and with an estimated 500,000 Sikhs living in the United States today and whereas Sikhs in the United States pursue diverse professions and make rich contributions to the social, cultural and economic vibrancy of the Commonwealth and of the United States including through service as members of the United States Armed Forces and significant contributions in agriculture, information technology, small businesses, the hospitality industry, the trucking industry, medicine and technology. And whereas six in the United States foster respect among all people through faith and service and are example of the benefits of education about the world's religions, the value of religious diversity and tolerance a culture of mutual understanding in the diminution of violence and whereas Sikhs in the United States have a rich history that all residents benefit from understanding recognizing and appreciating therefore be it resolved that the members of the Massachusetts General Court hereby commend the Sikh community in the Commonwealth for its recognition of April 2022 as Sikh Awareness and Appreciation Month and be it further resolved that a copy of these resolutions be forwarded by the clerk of the House of Representatives to the Sikh community of uh of well we're representing several communities here today um and uh it is uh, duly signed um by the speaker of the house the president of the senate and the offering members of the general court both the house of representatives and the state senate uh bearing uh bearing a 2022 date. Thank you again so much for having us. It is a real pleasure to be here and to uh share these resolutions with all of you. And I just want to add to Senator Rausch's comments cuz I I serve as the state senator for Westboro and I I came here to this uh temple about 4 years ago at the invitation of Monica and Sonica Gill and their parents who I know are very active in this community and just want to thank you so much for being so welcoming. <laughs> I also want to thank you because I know you provide a lot of service to food insecure Westboro residents including supporting the Westboro food pantry and uh both of us as Senator Rausch said uh really have learned and understood the discrimination against Sikhs not only here in the United States but also in India so thank you so much for that education for your dedication your hard work and commitment to making Massachusetts a stronger state and we're honored to be here thank you so much thank you very much jo bole so nihal you to stay for a second while Kabir Singh reads the citation and then present them to you. Thank you. Wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fate. Uh, my name is Lieutenant uh, Kamar Singh and I'm with the Massachusetts Army National Guard US Army. It's really an honor to receive this uh, resolution uh, from the members of the General Court. Thank you Senator Rosh and and thank you Senator Eldridge. Uh, I'm here to present a citation on behalf of my commander in chief uh, Governor Charlie Baker. um to the Sikh community uh here in Westboro and I'm really grateful to not just these two distinguished uh senators but over 34 additional um members of the general court 
and it was a bipartisan group that actually uh, signed and, and uh, passed this resolution. So we are really grateful uh, for the support we've gotten from our elected leaders. So to the Massachusetts Sikh community, on behalf of the citizens of Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I'm pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation in recognition of your many contributions to the economy and culture of the Bay State, and we commend your tireless efforts to promote respect among all people across the Commonwealth. This 14th day of April in 2022, signed Charlie D. Baker, Governor, and Karen E. Polito, Lieutenant Governor. And I'm also pleased to share that this citation, along with this uh, joint resolution, has been placed not just in Vesper Gurdwara, but Gurdwaras in Everett, Millis, uh, and Medford as well. So this has been a statewide initiative, and we're really privileged and grateful for the support we've gotten uh, from uh, our elected leaders. And hopefully this sends the message to our community uh, that we have a lot of support uh, so we can address some of the issues we might be confronting. Why Guruji ka khalsa, why Guruji ki fateh. Jo bole so neha, I would now like to invite five members of the Sangat, Manpreet Kaur Ji, Jasleen Kaur Ji, Gurdeep Singh Ji, Kamaljeet Singh Ji, and Sadar Tarsem Singh Ji, to please come up and receive both the declaration and the citation. Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. I will just ask uh, Senator Rausch and Senator Eldridge to just stay here for another 10 seconds. Uh, the children from the Gudwara Sab have a little gift for you, uh, which uh, they would like to present to you. Vaigurji ka khalsa, Vaigurji ki fateh. Senator Rausch and Senator Eldridge and Lieutenant Kavar Singh, on behalf of the entire Sangat congregation of this Gurdwara Sahib, I would like to thank you for coming here today and presenting the citation and the declaration. This is an unprecedented moment. Sikhs have been part of the beautiful mosaic that is America for about 140 years, actually. And please note that I use the word mosaic and not melting pot for very obvious reasons. We are proud Americans, and we are also very proud of who we are. And at this Gurdwara Sahib, we make great efforts to keep our children connected to their faith and their background. Even though Sikhs have been in the US for 140 years, the story of the Sikhs is largely missing from the broader American narrative. And that is starting to change now. When we use the word pioneer, there are certain images that pop into our heads, and a man with a turban and his family is not one of them. Yet, six have been pioneers in their own right, and they have contributed to the building of America and really deserve to be part of that narrative, which is starting to come into focus now. I will share with you very briefly the story of one Sikh pioneer who came to the US in 1905. His name was Divan Singh. He made several attempts to be a farmer in California in Imperial County, failed miserably, and then decided to go east. He ended up in Arizona, where some of the rich farmers <clears throat> decided to palm off some alkaline, barren land <clears throat> to this foolish man 
who was willing to lease that land for farming. Well, guess what he did? He deployed techniques that he had learned during farming in India, in Punjab, our homeland as a young man, and introduced deep tillage or rough tillage to Arizona. In a couple of years, this barren land was producing the highest you know, uh, the highest amount of cotton per acre in all of Arizona. And Devan Singh went on to become the biggest cotton farmer in Arizona, and his great-grandchildren are still cotton farmers today. There are so many stories like these uh, of Sikh pioneers who made immense contributions that have largely been forgotten. Uh, the act of the Massachusetts legislature in declaring uh, April as uh, Sikh Awareness and Appreciation Month is not just for this congregation or the congregation in Everett or Medford. It is for Devan Singh and every unsung hero and pioneer who has contributed to the making of this great nation. So once again, we thank you for coming here today. Uh, our young people will uh, take you downstairs in a little bit and introduce you to some of our traditions. The sharing of food is a fundamentally important thing in our faith, and you are, of course, invited to participate in the langar, our kitchen, where food will be served downstairs. And, of course, we understand that you're very busy, so if you do have to leave, we will ask that you take some food with you because that is an essential part of visiting a Gurdwara and participating in our congregation. Thank you again from the bottom of our hearts. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.